Hello designers, this is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you're new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I'll show you how to keep using both the classic editor plugin and also the Gutenberg block based editor at the same time. You don't have to completely depend on Gutenberg or the classic editor for all your needs. You can switch to the editor of your choice on the fly. So how do you do it? Just go to plugins. Click on add new and search for classic editor. Gutenberg is the default editor on WordPress 5 or above. A lot of plugins are actually built for the classic editor interface and they haven't been updated to the Gutenberg editor yet. Of course, they have quite some time. So eventually everything will be a Gutenberg block. That's the whole vision behind Gutenberg. Check out the Gutenberg playlist on the channel for more information on that. So if you want to keep using both, you can simply do it. Just go to settings, click on writing. So once you install and activate that classic editor plugin, you get the option to choose the default editor for all users. So if you want to keep using the classic editor by default until and unless all your plugins are actually supported by Gutenberg block based interface, you can pick classic editor or you can pick block based editor. You can also allow users to switch between the editors. So if he or she doesn't like to work in that particular interface such as Gutenberg, you can give them an option to switch be between those editors. Once you do that, just click on save changes. So just click on add new. So you can add a new post or a page. And now my Gutenberg is enabled by default. So maybe I'll give it Guten test and this is my Gutenberg based editor. So I'll just start typing something. So that and if I don't like the Gutenberg interface or if I feel that some of my plugins are not updated for the block based editor, you can simply click on the options button on the right corner and there's an option to switch to classic editor. So you can simply click on that. Just click on that and it changes the interface from Gutenberg to your classic edit plugin. Of course, I didn't save the changes there, which is why I have a blank new add new post here. And if you changed your mind again, there will be another option to switch to block editor. So just click on that. And if you don't see it here, click on the screen options and pick editor options. So just go there and click on switch to block editor and it will transform the current post or page or custom post type again to Gutenberg interface. And best of all, if you have composed or designed a page or if you have written the content of a page post or custom post type with classic editor or Gutenberg, your WordPress will clearly show it. So just click on all posts and there is a label called classic editor similar to what you see with Elementor. So if you've edited something with Elementor, it will show a label called Elementor, edit with Elementor. Similarly, you have a classic editor. If you actually compose that post using the classic editor plugin, or if you have actually designed that with block based editor, it will show you block editor. So that way you can easily identify which is which and Gutenberg is the present and also the future of WordPress. So you better embrace it learn it and design your websites and posts with it right now. Check out Gutenberg playlist on the channel for more information on Gutenberg, how to use it, how to get started with it. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace. And that's it for now. And hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.